Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tool shop with autosave and the free model is in the description. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a tool shop that saves once you buy an item. So as you can see here, I don't own this. I bought it, my coins have been gone and I can equip it, I have it, I can use it and I can unequip it. And now if I leave the game, your coins also save. Let's rejoin. As you can see, the coins have saved. Go here. Now we can equip and unequip the sword because we bought it. Let's get on with the video. So once you're in your game and you insert the model, open up the folder and ungroup these models in their uh, right places. So repair storage, subscript service, server storage, and start GUI. And now we can delete this folder. So it won't actually work just yet. We have to go and publish our game if you have not done so already. I'll do something like tool shop auto save. Save that. So once you've done that, click on game settings, go to security and enable studio access to API services. This will make it so that we can actually like save all the data and load it back in once the player joins. Click on save and now you're good to go. But the system won't work all the time in studio, so let's test it in the actual game. So I'm going to publish it. Publish it as. Toolshop autosave. Overwrite it. So now we are in the actual game. Go here, buy, not enough coins. Now let's go into the console. Switch to server and give our player some coins. If you don't already know, this is how you do it. Obviously, instead of Rechamthus, put your Rolex username. Make sure that you spell everything correctly. Boom, now we have a thousand coins. Bye, we can equip. We now have it. Our coins have been taken away. Now let's leave and rejoin. So now we are back in the game, 750 coins. Now we can equip and unequip the sword. Now let's head on back to studio. So back in studio, I'm gonna show you how you can add more items. So make the shot frame visible and duplicate the sword one. And I added a UI grid layout. So now they'll automatically be placed for you no, how, no matter how much you make. I just want to so let's rename this to handgun and handgun here go here get a handgun and when this shows up say no drag it into the tools folder in, rep in uh, server storage and make sure that the name of your frame is the exact same as the tool's name Otherwise, it will break. Now we're going to set the price to 500. And change here. 500. Now we need an image. Let's get a gun. Over here. Copy this. Go to the image. And paste it there. Now we can set this visible to false and we can update our game so here we are in the updated game 750 coins buy it got taken away we can equip these now let's leave and rejoin and now once we rejoin our coins have saved and we can equip both of these cool so now i'm going to show you how you can change the leader stats let's go back into studio so here we are back in studio go into the leader stats slash data store script and rename this to your new leader stats. I'm going to do cash. Change this to cash. Change this to cash. Change this to cash. Or, sorry, the name of yours. Then this to cash. Now, now that's not all. In the buy tool handler, change this to cash. Then also go into the button handler and change that to the name. So mine's cash. 
and then here we'll change this to not enough cash and boom let's test this out see here we are back in the game and our cash has reset because it is a new thing to save but now here we can still equip these but if we had to buy them then we'd still have would uh, need the amount of cash and i forgot we have to also change this so that's a simple fix we just go into studio and rename that to cash but uh yeah that's it for today's video bye guys